the fifth Sunday in Lent, Year B, from the Gospel according to John. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. In the name of the one once lifted, even our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our readings for this week ask us to wrestle with notions of obedience. Starting with Jeremiah, let us notice that the occasion for obedience was God taking us by the hand to bring us out of the land of Egypt. In other words, the occasion for covenant is the move out of slavery into a mutual, if not equal, partnership with God. God's looking not for a slave or a tool, but for a spouse who will return the love God has already shown himself willing to give. We see this more clearly in our psalm, where our understanding and keeping God's commandments is all about wholehearted longing, delight, gazing, and recitation as one might recite a poem or a song. This is a romantic image in which we respond to God's command as to the desires of a lover, not fearing the beloved's wrath, but rejoicing in the beloved's pleasure. Turning then to the cross, notice that Jesus is a priest according to the model of Melchizedek, who brings bread and wine to Abram in celebration of the military collaboration that's brought victory and liberation of a captive people. By handing over his body and blood to us, while offering up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears, Jesus blesses us in our mutual victory that has delivered our enemy, sin and death, into our hands. Jesus' soul is troubled, but he recognizes why he's come to this hour. In his battle to drive out the ruler of this world, he knows, and we know, that the Father saves him through resurrection, not evasion. Jesus' obedience is not about submission to violence. Indeed, the word submission is not even present in the Greek, which speaks only of reverence. The point is Jesus' willing participation, Jesus' embodiment of the partnership between divinity and humanity to vanquish our common enemy. Let us therefore practice this kind of obedience, the kind that takes whatever comes to us as an occasion to side actively with the God who desires a partner and not a slave. In the name of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.